Hello, fellow presenters. I am Arlini Alias. I am a lecturer at the Center of Bioethics and Humanities International Medical University, Malaysia. Today, I would like to present a study that I conducted in lieu to the COVID-19 outbreak that recently hit the world and our country, Malaysia, as well. The title of my research is The Impact of Media Infodemics on COVID-19 Outbreak in Intensifying Global Panic Among Malaysians, a Perception-Based Analysis. The study was developed based on the observation that apparently the global society in general is somehow impacted by the mass spread of information on media regarding the COVID-19 virus outbreak. I am interested to explore the impact of this COVID-19 infodemics spread on media specifically to the Malaysian society and the extent they intensify panic reactions within our society. A bit on the background, on March 18, the Malaysian government started a two-week restricted movement order as an effort to control the spread of the virus within the country. It was then extended further due to the now increased number of infected cases. Now, during this time, media serves as the main channel of communication to the people where the demand of information from the people has also grown bigger. So we can see excessive spread of news and information on media with regards to the virus outbreak has gone out of proportion. This is also acknowledged by the WHO in which the WHO director uttered in one of the media conferences that we're not just fighting an epidemic, we are also fighting an infodemic. So what is an infodemic? The term is coined by a scientist and a journalist at the Washington Post Press, David Rothkopf, in 2003 while reporting the SARS outbreak, which also an equally fear-provoking related epidemic. An infodemic, it's basically a portmanteau of information and epidemic, typically refers to a rapid and far-reaching spread of both accurate and inaccurate information about something such as a disease. Since there are numbers of studies show that Information spread on and by the media not only shapes public opinion, but also their behaviors. Hence, the aim of this study is to explore the Malaysian perceptions of how COVID-19 outbreak infodemics produce, amplify global panic in society, as well as to discover people's understanding and opinion on the virus outbreak based on the information conveyed by the media and how these elevate public reactions. There are four research questions to know what information was sought by the Malaysians about the virus outbreak, how do they construe media reports with regards to the outbreak, to, the, to what extent do media, uh, to what extent are they aware of the fake news on media regarding the outbreak, to what extent do media infodemics influence their reactions towards the current state of the outbreak. In conducting my study, I referred and adapted concepts from two frameworks, the risk perceptions and social amplification of risk theory. In this study, I refer to Paul Slovic psychometric paradigm of risk perceptions, in which his study provides an understanding on how do people perceive risk. This approach provides a kind of taxonomy of threats that can be used to predict people's responses to new risk. Uh, risk perceptions is the subjective judgment that people make about the characteristics or severity of, of, of a risk. The modern cognitive psychology claims that there are two systems in which people use to comprehend threat or risk, analytical and experiential. Analytical analysis of risk or threat is through utilization of normative sets of rules, such as risk valuation, probability assessment, and formal logic in which specific focus measures are performed. In experiential analysis, it is based on intuition, which a person receives minimum conscious awareness. And according to Slovic and friends in their research, this method is the most commonly applied and prompted way people respond to threats or risk, where people tend to rely on the event's image representation and its associative characteristics that uh, they then link to their individual experience, uh, which usually accompanies by 
particular sentiments or emotions. This system signifies a sense to the degree of the threat or risk since almost all threats or risks are regarded as naturally subjective. One study suggests that people apply several psychosomatic devices when evaluating risk, one of which is the mental shortcuts that are found to be persistently modified by media reports. One, uh, five dominant factors which influence one's perceptions or judgment of the severity of threats or risk where the reaction is then formed include risk factors, informational factors, personal factors, direct experience, and trust. This framework helps me to understand uh, and comprehend the driven factors that influence or build one's construct of perceptions regarding the COVID-19 outbreak being the most omniscient threat currently affecting the nation. Another theory that helps construct my understanding of how to measure risk uh, perception is the social amplification of risk theory by Caperson and friends. It is based on the notion that hazardous occurrence correlate with not only psychological aspect, but also social, institutional, and cultural processes in ways that may intensify or mitigate public responses to the risk event. According to Capersons and friends, there are two phases in which intensification or mitigation occurs during the broadcasting of the threat as well as in the response mechanism of that person. In other words, the more intensified the risk becomes, the greater the behavioral responses will be activated, which Capersons termed as secondary impacts. Moving on to methodology, the study applies a qualitative research design using a case study analysis of perception. A set of 10 open-ended questions were probed to participants during seven group uh, interview, focus group interview, adapting Richard Kruger's focus group interviewing protocol. A total of 15 citizen, uh, Malaysian citizens residing at five states in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Selangor, Negeri Sembilan, Johor, and Pulau Pinang are included in the study. During the conduct of the data collection, the first four earlier mentioned states are affected the most by the pandemic, among other states in Malaysia, based on statistics prepared by the Statistical Research Department. The selection of these five states is to examine if there are any differences in how people from these different states react to the infodemics they received from media. From the 15 participants, 10 are female and 5 are male. And the age range of the participants is from 25 to 70 years old. Uh, the focus group interview sessions were conducted from May to July 2020. Analysis of data was done systematically following this five-step framework. Data structuring and familiarization is when the Reading, transcription, and translation were done. Identification of a thematic framework is when the application of explanatory construction, where the research questions are used as a guide to the coding plan. Data coding process of sorting in data into the selected framework, plotting and data linking, uh, arranging the responses into categories and identifying the recurring themes. And finally, interpretation, examining patterns in the data, identifying clusters uh, such as causality or other related themes, constructing the sequence and data localization to, uh, to answer research questions. Two raters were appointed to develop inter-rater reliability checks on the cons consistency of the findings. Findings uh, were discussed based on the four research questions. The participants were asked to indicate which media sources they prefer for the latest updates on the COVID-19 outbreak and reasons for their preferences. Three main media mainstream that participants mainly refer to get information and updates on the COVID-19 outbreak include official news broadcast, social media platform, and online news portal. Majority indicated uh, their preferences over official news broadcasts and press conferences for the latest updates. 
and information on the COVID-19 outbreak. This preference is due to the reason of news accuracy. Those who also turn to the social media, or mainly for two reasons, informational information retrieval is faster and more detailed information can be obtained. Participants were also asked about their opinion on media coverage of the COVID-19 outbreak and their awareness of the fake news spread on media with regards to the outbreak. 11 participants agreed that most media in Malaysia have excellently played their role well in disseminating sufficiently up-to-date information and relevant news to the global of the global pandemic COVID-19 to the public, preventing global panic endurance from taking place in the society. However, four participants highlighted the occurrences of discrepancies, spread of exaggerated information, and news overload of the COVID-19 outbreak that triggered the incitation of panic among some people in the community, as well as distracting the community from other issues that are no less important. The next question is examining the role of media in constructing public belief regarding the spread of the outbreak. Participants were asked whether they believe everything they read on media with regards to the COVID-19 outbreak. Five of them reported they consider mostly everything they read on media. One participant further explained that she considers the infodemics spread on media due to her knowledge that there is always a requirement for the official mainstream media to appear neutral in their information sharing and the need to avoid the production of public panic. Six participants conveyed that their consumption of the news depends on the medium of media where the information is channeled. From the analysis, official news broadcasts are mostly relied on by the participants. One participant reported her consumption of the information regarding the outbreak is reliant upon the types of information she received, in which she only consumes health-related information. Besides, one participant raised the importance of considering only factual information received on media, from media and the need for cross-checking. The following question is examining the participants' self-awareness on the proliferation of COVID-19 infodemics on media. All 15 of them reported that they are aware of the far-reaching spread of COVID-19 infodemics across all media. The two main infodemics they encountered include a made-up preventive measures and conspiracy theories uh, on the occurrence of the outbreak. According to one participant, based on her investigation, some of the alleged infodemics of conspiracies with regards to the outbreak spread mainly on social media appeared to correspond to the reliable study papers that she had read, hence led her to consider most of the news. Additionally, participants have also been asked to, to note on their accountability of self-checking the news accuracy. Eight participants acknowledge the difficulties of assessing the COVID-19 outbreak news validity due to excessive media coverage, and they reported that they consume information mainly from the official news broadcast. Seven participants indicated that they also consume information from other than the ones conveyed by the official uh, newscast, such as those published on social media, but sought for news accuracy. From the analysis, uh, two main medias applied by the participants in assessing the credibility of the news include evaluating sources and fact-checking. The final question is assessing the consequence of the proliferated COVID-19 outbreak infodemic spread on media to the participants and the people in their residing area based on their observation. Four questions were probed to the participants under this theme. First, the participants have been asked to identify which news or information they read on media that mostly trigger their reactions with regards to the outbreak. From the analysis, 11 participants responded they were, to a certain degree, prompted by some of the news they read and reacted upon the information they received. Six participants reported that the main infodemic that activated their reactions is the shortage of supplies of essential items. Another infodemic that prompted the participants
participants' responses is the significance of increasing the level of personal hygiene and maintaining a clean environment. Four participants reported that the news of the COVID-19 spread that they read on media do not prompt their panic reaction. The reason is being the reason being is that they are confident with the government's capability to control the spread of the virus as well as the accuracy of the information presented by the mainstream media. Next, the participants were asked to state their opinion based on their observation on the extent the COVID-19 infodemic spread on media uh, influenced the people in their neighborhood area and the public in general. Eight participants attested, attested that there had been a non-appearance of intensification of reaction among the people in their neighborhood areas based on their observation. From the eight participants, three participants from Negeri Sembilan and two from Pulau Pinang reported that the people in their areas reflect a calm and composed reaction with regards to the spread of the outbreak infodemics. Seven participants, uh, two of which from Johor, Selangor and Kuala Lumpur indicated the panic reaction occurrences among the people in their residing areas. And from their observation, the panic reaction involved the intensification of panic buying among the people. Uh, following that, with regards to the extent the COVID-19 infodemic influenced the public reaction in Malaysia, 10 participants reported that they observed the occurrence of pan panic reactions among Malaysians, especially during the early stage of the outbreak in the country. This is mainly due to the massive news coverage of the COVID-19 spread, most of which were not verified at that time. Uh, the remaining five participants observed that most people in Malaysia remained composed during the spread of the COVID-19 uh, outbreak in the country in comparison to people from other countries in the world. Uh, finally, participants were asked to measure their own reactions and behaviors in response to the COVID-19 outbreak that are influenced by uh, the information they consume from the media based on a five-point scale, uh, 10 being mostly influenced. Based on the rate of recurrence presented in the table here, it can be observed that the majority of the participants rated significant behavioral responses with regards to the COVID-19 outbreak based on the infodemics they consume from media, which is between high to severe. 33.3% of the participants indicated that they are moderately affected in their behaviors and reactions by the news and information they obtain through media. Only one participant reported that the infodemic spread on media with regards to the COVID-19 do not provide a significant impact to his or her behavior. The analysis of the present uh, of the participants' overall observation of their own reactions can also be distributed according to states. It is revealed that majority of participants from Pinang, Johor, Negeri Sembilan, and Selangor reported a significant correspondence to the intensification of panic reactions with a COVID-19 outbreak infodemic spread by media, uh, in which the rate ranged from high to severe. However, participants from Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur reported that they are not significantly affected by the COVID-19 outbreak infodemic spread by media. As a conclusion, the study reveals that the spread of infodemics on media regarding the COVID-19 outbreak directly influences the public's perception of the epidemic's current state, affecting their reactions and behaviors in coping with the virus outbreak. Participants appear to occasionally seek personalized risk information when it comes to crisis and emergency risk information. They also appear to favor factual statement or information such as statistics of new cases and death from official media broadcasts. The study also discloses that majority of the participants, about 60%, reflected a significant impact of the COVID-19 infodemic spread towards their own perceptions and reaction. The results demonstrate insignificant variance, however, in the impact of COVID-19 infodemic, uh, infodemics towards the public responses with the risk occurrences in that particular state. Hence, it could be implied that 
The infodemic spread on media have shaped the public's perception and understanding about the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus, which initiate their panic reaction. These are the references that I use in developing my research uh, paper. Thank you very much for listening.